Hello everybody, welcome back to Valhelsia 3. Guys, today it is your buddy Super Turtle and check out what I've done off camera here. So we have an ender hopper here with not only rotten flesh but arrows and bones. How could that possibly be like that unless your boy got some player damage traps here like we were talking about and maybe went and got some skeleton spawners? What? 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 Maybe. Look at all these bones we got. I went AFK for like a couple hours here and we're up to level 109 because of those player traps, which is amazing. But guys, today we are going to be working on some very important stuff. Now... I really want to go ahead and get what we worked on last episode, which is this area here, uh, the refinery area. I want to get this like automated uh, to the point where this is just piping in with potatoes. Uh, yeah, uh, this is still technically pumping in. As you can see, we got biodiesel here. We've filled it up, uh, but we're, we're going to need some industrial hemp seeds pumping into here. And uh, we need some potatoes pumping in here. So that means we're going to need the garden cloches. Now, now this is going to be fine and dandy, but uh, we're going to need a lot more iron to do this stuff and we also need a stable source of power um oh yeah and by the way i found out what the problem was with this so you need to place this guy down first and then you need to place this water wheel on that now this thing produces power for us which it did before so i'm pretty excited about that but yeah um back to what we were talking about earlier we need to go ahead and get this guy automated because i believe we're going to be using a biodiesel generator to generate most of our power and if we could have that running off of itself, we could have pretty efficient power for what we're putting in. Now, the observant of you may have noticed something different when we walked to this room. Now, not into this room, to it. If we turn around behind us, there's a staircase going down. And if we go here, we can see a big empty room. Now, this is going to be where all of our ore processing is going to take place. Went ahead and just kind of built up the room. I normally don't touch the staircase until after the room is done, but I figured I'd do it before uh, because this is the color scheme we're going to be having around the base from now on. The basalt, treated wood, and then the... Uh, the black stone here. We're going to be getting rid of these eventually. I'm going to be redoing this whole room, making it look much better because I don't know, just something about this room doesn't look doesn't look right. So yeah, I just need to go ahead and clear this out, give us give us a big space to work in, and then we can get this farty parted. All right, so with a proper room to go ahead and put all our stuff in. Yes, we are making kind of a big room for this area uh, because I do plan on having all of the processing stuff in this room eventually when we do have like automation going and stuff like that. Uh, but the stuff we're going to be working with today, we're going to put that garden gloss on, hold, on hold. We're going to be using a basic smelting factory and a crushing factory. We're just going to get to the basic tier. And I do want to set up at just one of those today. Uh, we, we will plan on having at least a lot of them in the future uh, because the digital miner is just going to be so good. So anyway, as you see, we cleared out like majority of our inventory with just those clicks, which is always so much fun for me. Uh, we're going to put the clay over here. Okay, so what do we need to do to get into this? So the first part of this process is going to be making the crushing factory. Now we need to make a crusher, first of all, and we're going to need some steel. We need steel, glass, and osmium. Now, I did go ahead and collect up a whole bunch of glass a little bit ago. So we can go ahead and get that smelting up. That should be an easy process. We're also going to need some steel. The real deal steel, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's see here. I do have some more steel somewhere. And this is the process that's going to be going away here pretty soon. Once we get that bio generator going, uh, we'll be looking into some better storage options. And those of you who are familiar with the channel know exactly what I am referring to. Okay, so to get this done... Okay, we're going to let that smell a little bit more. We need some osmium. Got our osmium here. We've got our osmium. Okay, so let's go ahead here. We're going to make this steel casing. Bam. So step number one is done, Ski. All right, so what are we missing? Everything. All right, and to make these, we're going to need to get our metallurgic infuser back out. We're going to go ahead and connect it up to this guy because our, wind, our, our water mill is finally working as it should. All just a weird glitch kind of thing that one of my fans went ahead and suggested in the comments. Should look at it on the screen. Pretty cool. Give him a hello. But uh, anyway, they suggested that and it started working like a freaking dream. You wouldn't believe. So to make to make the whoops. 
To make these guys, we need osmium and redstone combined together. This thing is going. But look here. You can see power's coming in. It's definitely working this time. Um, so if we put the, the redstones in here, if we put the osmium. So it's using 5 EU. Uh, so we're not able to quite process that with this. That's kind of lame, honestly. I really feel like we should be able to produce more with that with a water mill. But it's definitely working. It's magic. You know. Uh, but we're going to let that process for a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to get two buckets of lava. Lava. Okay, let's go get those. So, with the two buckets of lava acquired, we should be able to go ahead. As long as we've got some redstone. Yes. Should be able to go ahead and make the crusher. Bam. Amazing. Let's come over here. Uh, what were we waiting for? I don't remember. That's good. Okay. Uh, oh, that's what we were waiting for. D sky. Okay, so now that that's been taken care of, should be able to go ahead. Okay, looks like we need some more iron. Um, do we have any more iron? I don't want to smelt it up. Oh, we got the iron. Perfect. Okay. All right. So basic crusher has been taken care of. Now we need an energized smelter. To do that, we need more osmium. If you're wondering why I don't organize my chest, it's because I use it as fuel. Fuel my fire so that way I can go ahead and build a digital storage system. That's the whole reason I do it. It's weird. Don't, don't listen to me. I'm not that smart. Okay, we're going to grab just a little bit more redstone here. Some more cables. All right, so we got a total of 24 of those. All right, perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and make some pitiful generators in a little bit. Uh, but I want to go ahead. We're going to put this guy straight up right here. So you are the basic crushing factory, the basic smelter here. We're going to put a torch here. Power is going to go through the back. And we'll probably have the generators for this place up above. The pitiful generators. And we're just, we're just going to be using stupid power right now. So uh, not stupid power. Actually, yeah, stupid power. Um, so they'll just be up in here. So we're gonna make a channel for the cables. I'm breaking everything at this point. Don't, don't worry about it. Those chickens are freaking loud, dude. What chickens? <laughs> They're gone. <gasps> Why? Okay. So those have all been placed. Let's go ahead and make some more pitiful generators. Okay, so with seven generators and a whole bunch of cables, let's go ahead and let's get this far departed here. So, uh, we should probably just do that. I don't know why I extended that out. All right, so that's gonna be all of the power. A more power, baby. Just right up in there. Yeah. So power's gonna be flowing out of there and into our guys right here. Bam, right into the back. Okay, so they go through the crusher. Uh, back is set to energy. Um, I don't have really anything else. What we're going to have to go ahead and do here. So each of these guys get some power. All right, so now they're all producing power here. As you can see, bam, we're getting lots of power from them. We're also going to have to put a way in to, I guess, not do things properly. I don't know. Most of them say. Okay. So we need one more thing of wood. Perfect. All right. So this is going to be the input and output chest down here. Now we need to find a good way to put items or put items out by transfer items here. So we're going to look at these. Item, that's what we're looking at. Okay, we have an item pipe. I do not want to use those. Um, mechanism might have something to get their pipes around their their systems. What we got here logistical transporter. Items and blocks. All right, that's what we got. Let's see. Let's, let's see if this is going on. 
All right, so do I still have the steel on me? I do. Oh, we have enough to go ahead and make some. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Okay, so if we come here, we can easily get the pipe, the items in between here. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, so output is right. Input is left. So if we put auto eject here, that will, as soon as this thing processes up, so they... Wait a second, what? Do we need an enriching factory? Uh, we need an enrichment chamber, not a crushing factory. Okay. All right, while well, we got the steel cooking up, let's see if we can get items out of chests with this thing. I don't understand. How will we be able to? Okay, but how do we bring that in? Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and make the proper item this time. I'm, I'm pretty sure in Valhalla 2, I made the same mistake. <laughs> oh, what to do, what to do, other than take a poo. Anyway, so we do need some more osmium. I went ahead and put the rest of it away, but I don't remember which chest I put it into. Or which one was it in? Aha, there we go. Okay, so if we go here, we need to make the steel casing just like so. Let's go ahead and break some of these back down into redstone. Okay, we are lacking two iron. Well, shoot, looks like we might need to smelt up the two iron, unfortunately. All right, with the two of these done, let's go ahead and craft up the enriching chamber. Bam, looks like we're gonna need two more though, unfortunately, I just realized that. Trying to only take exactly what we need to upgrade because I really don't wanna waste items. All right, now this will allow us to go ahead and smelt things much, much faster than what we are before. Also, we can just dump in a whole bunch of stuff. We don't have to worry about separating osmium or anything like that. Uh, I also broke the wrong block. The crushing factory is what we need to have get rid of. The smelting factory is fine. Uh, we, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to pump items into a chest uh, from mechanism, or out of a chest from mechanism. We have to pump items into it which is a little unfortunate because we're just gonna have to do the hopper method, which means I need to smelt up more iron, but I'm not going to be using that system anymore. We're going to be, heck, we're just gonna be stealing some of this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the coal coke in the stud, in the, the blocks here. I had to move these guys up, unfortunately, because we ran out of room. So let's go ahead, chuck these items in here so I can go ahead and get the proper assortment. Okay. Oh yeah, 3,200 ticks, that's what I'm talking about. Now with all these going, we should have no issues in processing. So now three of these will be going at the same time. We can also always go ahead and make this more energy efficient. It's only using 20 FE per tick. We're gonna be using FE just because those are freedom enterprises. Uh, so it should be input in the left, output on the right, auto eject. Yep. And they're coming over here. We're gonna be sorting these out. And then this should be set to auto eject out the right side. It's gonna be very loud. It's gonna use a lot of power. Well, it's only using 40 FE per tick. And I don't know how much these actually use. They seem to be glitching out a lot. But yep, we have enough for for this now, so very cool. We're, we've started in the mechanism processing, which is always fun. It's always a great time. Hopper here. So that now we can do that. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna make this very, very easy on ourselves. So just come over here, boop, boop. Now all of our ores will be doubled. Now the reason we did it like this and had this block, or this uh, basic 
logistical transport in between is so that we can keep the odd numbered room aspect part of this that I've wanted uh, on the same page. So now we're going to go ahead and maybe put up some stuff in between here. We might leave this open, but I'm going to go ahead and cover both of these blocks. All right. While very simple, I actually really do like it. I, I thought I was going to go ahead and cover this up. But I think I'm actually going to go ahead and keep it here. I just think it, it looks really cool and, and pretty neat at the same time. Uh, so what we can do here is we can start going ahead and tossing in all of our ores. And I guess we'll find out which ones allow smelting and which ones don't. Now in the future this will be upgraded. These generators won't be up here or anything like that. I'm also going to be making this the marble floor to match everything else. Uh, so that's also that and we're also going to keep the same pattern But we're also going to have processing all along this wall here. So let's go ahead and grab all of our ores All right, so I've been keeping most of our ores in here uh, And we're gonna go ahead and double the ores that we get now We're obviously not gonna do lapis or diamonds or redstone because we can go ahead and just fortune those to get even better uh, Odds of what we're getting but while the cool thing about this is is we're getting a whole bunch of more iron so for every iron that we our iron ore that we mine we get two with this system here uh, Now the cool thing is because the iron is coming into us We can go ahead and craft these up into the chest expansions We're also putting gold in there. So we're also gonna be getting a lot more gold uh, But let's go ahead here and we're gonna make two of these upgrades all right, so the chest upgrades have been made. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade both of these. It'll take it from kind of being janky, in my opinion, to kind of cool looking. So we have the iron chest there, and I mean, that already looks cool. It'll look even better once we have the um, ender, or not the ender, but the diamond chests here. Uh, I also think it would be cool to have a border around it on the floor, not just go straight up marble. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do here. So we'd come in, go in here like that, go deep in, and then kind of loop around. And then we'd have marble everywhere else. So let's find a good block that would make maybe maybe look at maybe make it look better in there. Hmm. For now, I think we're just gonna go ahead and put the marble block all the way up to it. Uh, I can't seem to. I, I think like andesite would look pretty good, like an andesite something, uh, like a little thing here. But uh, that's how it's gonna look for now. I'm definitely liking that double in our ore processing, which is going to be sweet. We're getting double the ores for what we're putting in. Always like that. So we're also going to go ahead here and get some more of this stuff smelting in. Smelting up. Uh, because to continue on and get this stuff automated, we're going to need some more steel. And to because what we're doing is the biodiesel generator, if we go ahead and grab this guy here, this is it, the diesel generator. This requires nine radiator blocks, six steel scaffolding, four generator blocks, 13 heavy generator blocks, uh, one redstone engineering block, and four fluid pipes, or sorry, five fluid pipes. So that's gonna take a bit, and I actually think we're gonna go ahead and just put it in the ground here. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna make it just low enough so everything looks good from up here, but we're gonna have glass in here so you can walk over it and see it, and then the pipe will just come straight down here. Uh, and then for automating these guys, I don't really know where we're going to put it. Um, hmm, that's tough. Well, I might almost move this guy over to here, and then we can just have them in that spot there, and then that spot there. And this will be our like power generation corner, and everything will be running off of itself, and everything will be awesome. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so I want to have the the auto processing system over here run on power that isn't these for right now because i'm looking here and even with the cold coke we're we're running low guys we're not we're not doing too hot unfortunately when it comes to that so we want to go ahead and get some power that's always coming in now we can always put some of those back in um, but we're actually gonna we're gonna make, make them leave them in because maybe the aesthetic is pretty cool but as you can see i have a whole bunch of stuff here and we're gonna make we're gonna make some water mills. Now I wanna go ahead and make one more of these actually. So we can have a total of five, boom. And if I look here, yep, we can go ahead and make five water mills, bam. So that's five water mills. Um, so we're gonna see if that is enough to support 40 FE per tick. Actually, we're gonna have a total of six. 
Uh, so we'll see if three of them is good enough to support one of the, the machines here. Uh, but we're also going to need to go ahead and make some some copper plates and stuff like that, which is cool because all of that stuff is going to get processed up by our system, giving us even more now because uh, there is some in there waiting to, to process up. So I need to go ahead and find those scissors. Again. Gotta find them scissors wherever they freaking went into here. Uh, definitely going to need those. All right, there's a hammer. Where are the snips? Snip, snip. Um. Oh, snip, snip. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead here. We're going to turn all these into string. Yeah, or as much as we can. Bam, a lamb. And so that is around a treated wood stick. Or not. It didn't need to be. Uh, the game lied to me. Okay, all we need is the iron in the middle here. And we can make three. Oof. We need more hammer. All right, we got more. We got more hammer here. Turn those into more wire. Okay, so we have all those that we need there. Go ahead and grab these guys. Bam. Okay. So we've got all of those. Let's go ahead and get some clay here. We need to get this stuff smelting. Uh, I guess that's good for now. Actually, we should have some coal coke in here. Bam, look at that. Cool beans. So that'll start smelting. We'll put the copper that we get from our, our system here if we can make it to the end. Yeah, that ran out of power. Ah, ah okay, we're just gonna have to smelt up the copper. Copper's easy to find up at a higher level, so we can just go ahead and smelt it, no issues. Gonna take three of these, put those in there, put that in there. Let's go ahead and sleep. And then we should... Actually, I want to see how close this is to the ravine, because we could just set these up in the ravine. That would work pretty good. So we're going to put map here. Okay, they're not that close to the ravine. Um, but let's go ahead. We're going to put a point here. Uh, dot, dot, I, I. And so that way, when we're up above, we can figure out where we need to center this. We're also going to make a, I guess, a case for it. Mining a lot of stone because of the silk touch. I should have, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go out here. And I actually think a good idea for the water mills would be just right here next to the chickens. Poor guys, they probably aren't a big fan. But I don't remember asking. Cool, okay, so let's go ahead here like this. Okay, so we're gonna have wind, our water mill, blank, water mill. So one, two, three, four. So yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, we're getting a little too close. So we're gonna see if maybe five works. If not, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go up if we need more. <laughs> okay, so I believe these only need to be three tall. Okay, and then if we do this, OK, 
Okay, that's all five of them. Then we can go ahead here. Place. 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 Okay, so these are coming a little too far forward. So that means we're going to have to push these back a little bit. Okay, so these come back one block. Actually, this needs to go out two because the water mill needs to come back one so that it has enough room on both sides. We can do that, no problem. Okay, let me get this part set up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've got these sectioned off into their five different slots. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get this to work properly. Well, how about that? Um, hmm. Yeah, this is weird. Um, in order to get these flowing the proper way, I think we need to just do this, but can we get away with putting a half slab there? By chance, we're gonna put glass in between each of them so that that won't bleed through at all. Uh, but I wanna see if, if we can put a half slab upside down and if that will work so it doesn't block it. Cause I mean, there's, there's two of them going right now. I mean, they're, they're getting power, you know? But, uh... No. Ooh, what have I found? Ooh. We found a, a more power, baby. All right, those are going to spill over. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, but we can, like I, like I said, just put glass in between. No issue. We have a, we have a way to get, to get glass now, which is really cool. I really hope that uh, I don't have to go out and find it again because I, I set up the new area of the new stuff, and things seem to break. All right, so water for you and water for you. Now, these guys should be producing a heck ton of power. Not really a heck ton, but they're spinning like crazy. So we should actually see this loop back around below. Yes, so it's pushing all the way from the top, looping back around and coming all the way back down. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Now we are gonna be taking power uh, through the top in between there. Or, or we might just actually come out to the back here. Because this area is fine, like, like we really need the glass up towards the front where the water comes down. So let's have a look here. So all we need are really just two slots. And like the water spillage goes away when we do this. Because like, we don't want it in between at all. Heck. Heck, might just stop the streams. Let this add it in. Yeah, I can't move with that there. But like, yeah, just like this. So that way the water is only coming down around the outside. See what I mean? So that'll be that'll be pretty easy to go ahead and fix. But those are each producing power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna route these back here. Uh, we're gonna just have them come to this point here, give us some power, and then we will run these together, probably into the middle somewhere here, and then down. Uh, so it should be it should be pretty pretty easy once we get everything set up. Um, I'm excited. All right, so I want to go ahead and see if these low voltage capacitors will help us out at all. So I want them to be able to be like a block that we place. Uh, oh, look at that! We got a perfect to five. So I want these to basically connect to the low voltage guys here and basically let it pass through the block because I don't want to have to go around. 
Uh, so we're going to see if this helps us. So one, two, three, four, five. Now it's going to look a little odd. Um, all right, how are we going to set that up? We'll just set it up like this for now. So, oh, so we can place the block on the on its side if we can place it on its side. Where did it go? Only got four. What? Oh, look at that. It, it separated it for some reason. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Can that pull the power out? So I wanted to, to bridge this gap here like this. And I don't know if we're able to pull power out of the back and then go down. Say to like here and then snake our way over to that eye. Okay, so all we really got to do is just run our cable here into, into this. Um, yeah, so we can literally just connect these two together and this is where we run our, our cable to. Now, I know you guys probably can't see that. Just trust me on that. So, but this is where we're going to be running our stuff towards. So I just need to know if everything will... If you can pull, put power and pull power out of the same side. So we're about to find out. And I mean, I best, the, I guess the best way to test it would be to get like an energy thing and, and actually like flat up test it. But in order to do that, we need we need some more power, baby. We need more of these guys. And we got them. perfect. We also need these to be smashed up. To make more, uh, the low voltage wire and bam a lamb. Black Betty, bam a lamb, whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb. And so we'll need to set up a relay down here and then a bunch of relays into our system, but this is, this is literally just for power and I love it. Okay, so you connect here. You connect here. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, getting smacked by one of these IRL would like really hurt. And you connect here, and then I want each of these, all five of these. And then we're gonna have a connection thing down there. And so those should actually hold power in the reserves, uh, each of those little uh, capacitors there. And then we need to get these low voltage relays going. Now I believe I have, yep, I've got eight here. That should be enough. Um, but let's get a, let's get a capacitor that we can actually see energy going into. All right, so with the mechanism capacitor here crafted, we can go ahead and monitor uh, if this thing, if we're even actually able to pull power. So we're going to go ahead and just place it like this. Uh, we're just going to take power out of here, throw it into there like that, and it looks empty. Dang. Uh, is there a way to get power through a block? Um... Give me a moment here. Hold up. Hold up. I think I just read something in the book. I don't have doors. That was weird. I have foot sounds, but I don't have a door sound. Anyway, you can re... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We can make it work. Let's go ahead and test it. Yes. It, ow, ow, ow. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Oh, yeah. So power comes in there, comes out. So orange is set here. Blue is set. I'm not even talking to the microphone. I'm terribly sorry. Blue is set on the inside here. We didn't set it on that one. Uh, yep, blue. Blue. So blue is input. Orange is output. Uh, and that has been set on all of them. Those are all those as well. Let's have a look here. We are getting power. Does it tell us how much per tick? 22 FE per tick. So this should, in fact, be enough. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make creeper. Yeah. You get wrecked, you dang guy. So anyway, let's go ahead and make one more of those guys up. Uh, we're gonna need some more lead. We're gonna need a little bit more copper, uh, but we should have no issues in making that. Oh no, I don't know if we have any more. Do we have any more copper? Or have I used it all because I'm an idiot? Uh, let me see here. Um. Well, if we need more copper, we can just come down here with our pickaxe. Grab this copper. Grab those. And those. And now we can smelt them up. <laughs> Stonks. Anyway, let's put that in there. We do have some more lead, which is amazing. So what all do we need for this? We need the iron and the two copper. That's no issue. So we're just making one. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this. This way, no, you can't look into there or anything like that. We've got these. I hope this is enough. Um, got enough cable. I think let's go ahead and see if we can get this far departed. Oh, I'm going to bring some torches so that you guys can see what's going on in there. All right, so back here, we're going to go ahead and place that there. As you can see, that is set to input. So we can go ahead and place that. Let's get this on our hot bar here. And yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, might not actually be able to use that, which is very unfortunate. Because we might just need to place this like that so we can connect all these points together. It's not quite what I had in mind. Okay, so you to here. You to here, you to here, you to here, and you here. So all of our points are connected up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay, that definitely hurt. Let's go ahead and down here. Good lord, that did not feel good. Okay, so we're gonna connect. I actually don't know if we have enough. Okay, so we're gonna put a relay here connect all right let's go ahead down here we're gonna put a torch right here and then we're going to grab this and then it was that one so now this should be okay ah <laughs> it's put too much power <gasps> no all 109 levels are gone no oh man I'll be there in a minute. All right, note to self, be careful when handling things with high voltage. Okay, there we go. And then we can go ahead and place this here. Connect you to you. Okay, so let's go ahead, oh. Uh, yeah, we, well, we could actually set it up, but I just want to do it with one cable. Um, so let's get that out of our inventory. Where is the power? There it is. Perfect. All right, so now we just need to connect it to the back. We're going to build ourselves an escape way out here. Like so. And so, we're going to put all the blocks back so it still looks Gucci. Connect that, and can we do this? Oh, we sure can. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Look at all of that power. And it's auto power, which means that it's automatic. Putting those, actually, I should probably go around. Yeah, let's 
gonna get it's gonna get kind of dark in here. Put some torches in. Put one in there too. And look at that. It is a hundred percent automatic now. We just toss things in here. Don't have to worry about power up top. I can actually go ahead and just get rid of those. Oh my gosh, guys, this is amazing. Oh, you have no idea. I was I was so bummed that we would have to just kind of do it the lame way, but this this makes it better because now it just processes, guys. It just processes like this is osmium. Bam, look at all that iron we got. Oh man, it's so good. So good. Automatic power just for our ore processing. And it's kind of crazy to look at that and go, yeah, that's just for ore processing. But if you know, guys, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and I think, well, I mean, it would be kind of funny if a creeper fell in, but it wouldn't be very funny if I fell in. To me, anyway, probably pretty funny to you guys. That might cut the cable. Yeah, that cut the cable. Um, so we gotta come out one more. The funny thing is, is each of those. Oh, that's not right. Each of these is actually a battery for our our power storage. But yeah, so those have been, I guess, kind of protected. Um, yeah. That's going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today, guys. Uh, today, in this episode, we went ahead and fixed, or we automated our ore processing to get double ores, and then we automated the power generation for our farm there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some glass all around here, make it look super pretty. Uh, we will go ahead and seal this up other than for this little slot here for each of these guys. But uh, I hope you all had a fantastic day. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.